is what God has done to us through Jesus Christ. As we read in John chapter 3, verse 16, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son who died for us because he loved us. So that shows the Father's immense, unconditional, and immeasurable love for us. So how do we understand that? You understand the truth when we read the word it shows like how much God loves each of us that he gave his only son Jesus Christ to us so when we read through the New Testament we see that more than 130 scriptures which gives us the reference as a believer who we are in Christ so as we take time as we study through this course we will understand our identity in Christ is so much important. And who we are in Christ is who we really are. Our identity is in Christ, not on our position, not on our self-worth or the self-image, but our identity is who we are in Christ. So we have about 12 sections of this course. We will go step by step. And then during this course, we will have two assessment. That would one would be the mid assessment, which would be at the last week of September, and the final assessment, the last week of November. So we will give you enough of time to go through the notes and study. And the grading system would be uh, like you know depend uh, on the score, like ninety one. To 100 percent, you you would be graded as grade A plus, and then 76 to 90 would be grade A, and then following 51 to 75. We will be sharing this all online with the online students, and for the offline, we will be grading the we will be sharing the grading system with you as well in your student guidelines, and the resources for this course would be the course notes that we would be sharing the hard copy for the on-campus student. And for the online students, we have already shared the PDF uh, PDF notes on, on, uh, on Google Street. And along with that, we also encourage you to read our APC publication on the father's love. So uh, for on-campus, we would be sharing the book with you. And for online students, I've posted the link to download this PDF copy of this book. So with that, we will move on to a introduction of our course. Well, as we start the course, I would like to start with an illustration, illustration of an orphan boy. Uh, hi, uh, just give me a minute, please. Let me share the notes. Yeah, introduction of an orphan boy. Okay, who lives in a slum, an orphan who's living in a slum. And what would be his day-to-day uh, -day life? His day-to-day -day life will be depending on the next meal, what he could get, his immediate need, his mindset is on his immediate need, striving hard for his immediate need. So what happens? If a rich man comes and adopts, this orphan boy and provides him with everything. Can he still carry that mentality of uh, and provides him with everything? You know, whatever his needs have been met, and even you don't have to worry for his next meal or for his need. Everything has been provided for him. Now, should this boy? change his thinking, his behavior, and adapt to this lifestyle? Or should he still live in that uh, mentality of the uh, mentality that he had before, of striving for his need, risking his life to meet his need? He should change his mind, isn't it? Because everything has been provided. Now his identity, his lifestyle has been changed into something new because he's been adopted by this wealthy man and is he needs to let go of his previous orphan slum boy mentality and learn to think 
that is a son of a millennial, son of a wealthy man. So what will happen if this boy grows, grows up that mentality, that identity? His behavior changes, his lifestyle changes, the way he thinks about himself changes. Now, with that mentality, will he think that I need to be a blessing for others? Now, what he do? He'll go back to the same place where he came from with his new clothes, with a new identity, and he can minister to people there. He can witness people, he can share about how his life has been changed for better. When he shares, do you think that he will be impacting the people around that place? Will he? Yes. And will he be a blessing to others? When others also adapt and change and being adopted to this, will their lifestyle change? Yes. OK, just give me a minute. OK, thanks. Thanks, Sean. OK, so he's having a different mentality. Things change for him. So he elevates himself from the hard background, from the suffering, what he was going through. And now he's adapting to a different background. And he's being a blessing to others. So in the same way, God completes the work. And he's inviting us to live in Christ. So when we have accepted Jesus as a Lord and Savior, and our identity is in him, it's one of the revelation that we get from New Testament is that God has brought us into Jesus Christ. We have been, we have been bought. We, uh, there's a price that has been paid by Jesus, and we have been adopted into that. So God has planned for each of us. There's a will, there's a purpose, and there's a determination which is incorporated spiritually into us, into Christ that. He made us spiritually one with Christ, and it's been completely, and this is changed. And this, uh, we, our identity has been changed when we are in Christ. And there's a grace that has been lavished over us. So God has done a great work for us, and we are born again now. And he did all this by the grace, and he invites us to live with that mentality. So when we live in that, now our identity is changed. How? Who we are in Christ is who we really are. We need to identify ourselves in the relationship that we have with Christ. We should not see our self-image, our self-worth, but we need to identify ourselves with Christ. So how this truth can change in our life? When we have this mindset, the how we conduct ourselves changes, our character, the way we relate to each other changes now. Why? Because we have a new mindset. We have a new identity. That's what Paul says in the New Testament. When we receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior, our old things are passed away. And behold, we have become new. We have become new in Christ Jesus. Our thoughts have been changed. We are not the same person as how we used to be. There is no more striving hard to prove ourselves, to show our worth. Our thoughts are changed. The way we lead our life has changed. The way we handle different person has changed. How? How did this change come into us? How did this change come into us? Is it something automatic? We receive Jesus, switch on, a, 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 just put on that switch, things change, the mindset changes. 
is it something that's that simple that easy or is it a process it's a process do you think that involves a decision isn't it we need to decide we need to decide okay i choose to lead my life that pleases god there are certain things that we may have to unlearn that which the world thought is till date now when we receive jesus as a lord and savior when our identity is in jesus now our thoughts are changing the way we lead our life changes no more we lead our life pleasing to others we lead our life looking at christ are we pleasing him yes 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 yeah yes baptism is yeah we have a question here from our on campus student could you repeat that question sure yes 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 that's one of the confirmation but again yeah that is one of the confirmation that you decide okay following your decision that is there but it is a daily process e living that identity in christ is a process where ev initial of the days every minute will be a challenge that you need to please god in every decision you're not going to be angry you're not going to be upset you're not going to you know uh, behave the way you used to behave before things are changing slowly within you and yeah so who you are in christ is who you really are and we learn to place our self image and our self worth not based on our achievements or not on what other people say about us because you know people saying may change if you please them they'll give the flattery but the just the minute you know it changes you know what happens right it won't be the same so people's words or people say also maybe uh, you don't place your identity identity on what people say about you but on the simple fact of who you are in Christ well it will change the way you also relate to god so your relationship with god also changes in this journey you see yourself not setting certain time to pray to talk to god but then it becomes your lifestyle you begin your day with god and you end your day with god whole day like has how you have a close or a best friend with you and how you converse with that friend in the same way you will start conversing with god you will start sharing everything with god something that is pleasant you will take it to god first something the challenge that you face in your life in your daily daily moments you will say god come into this situation and help me get through it so you will base everything with god we see a new fellowship been developed with god and you will enter into the presence of god not based on the work that we do but based on who we are in christ so this will help us to face our challenges in our daily life so the christ who is in you just like how in john 15 we read like as how you abide in him and he abides in you ask anything what you need it the same way christ who is in you is much greater than the things that is in the world so when you have christ in you and you are in him and you're going to win any situation any circumstance any circumstance that you may be facing god and you are the majority so this should be in our mind
this that we should know that we have God in me and I am in God and I can do much more than what is expected. If there are any challenges that you face ahead, you need to know that you are more than an overcomer. This journey, I'm not journeying alone, but I have God who's in me, journeying in and through me. How do you know that? He has promised us, for I will never leave you nor forsake you. I am with you. Don't base your identity on your position. Today, you may be a company CEO or a director of a company. Tomorrow, you may lose that job. What will happen? How, where is your identity? Will you say, I'm a CEO of so-and-so company? Will you say, I'm a director of so-and-so company? So when you place your identity on God and say that I am the child of the Most High God, can that identity change in your ups and downs? That will be the same, no matter you are doing well in your life or not. This identity will be the same. So again and again, throughout this course, we will be repeating this phrasing, who you are in Christ is who you really Because this is what we want to, you know, uh, bring it to our... Uh, 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 to our being, to our mindset, know that your identity is not uh, on your education, is not on your uh, on your uh, position that you acquire in your life, but your identity in Christ is based on who you are in Jesus Christ. Okay, so when we have this as a mindset, it changes our lifestyle. It helps us overcome our sin. Our life. And uh, Romans chapter 6, verse 14 says, For sin shall not have dominion over you. Romans 6, 14 says, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under law, but under grace. We are under grace. That means what? Sin will no longer have dominion over each of us because we do not have to be in bondage to sin. We have been made, we have been set free, set free through Christ, through the work that Jesus did on the cross. So this will also change the way we face demons or the demonic power in our life. We may face such challenges in our life, but when you come across certain challenges or, uh, you know, the demons or demonic part, when we encounter such situation in our life, we will handle it with much more confidence when we know that we are in Christ. There is nothing to fear. That's what in the book of Timothy says, we do not have spirit of fear, but, but of power, love and a sound mind. We have been set free. We do not have the spirit of fear. We need to know that. When we have the spirit of fear, we, get the, we lay the foundation for the enemy to work in us. But when we have faith, we give the foundation for God to work in and through us. I'm sure in the faith class you would have studied on that and you will be studying more on that. So what we need to do, we need to replace this fear with faith for God to move in and through us. So when we set our mind that who we are in Christ, the minute we know that Christ is, is with us, so when we encounter demon or demonic uh, uh, power, we can handle that with much stronger confidence, knowing that we are not alone and Christ is with us and He will fight our battle. He will help us to be make an overcomer. So this way, it will change the way we also relate to people. The way we relate to people changes. Why? 
because we are a changed person. When we look at another person, although that person may not be very great in the natural look or maybe in the education, but how you relate to that person is not on the position that person is in, but you relate to that person as a, as a brother in Christ, as a sister in Christ. And you'll see to it how we can help each other to bring up each other. There is no competition in Christ. There is no partiality in Christ. We are here to help each other and build each other because we are one in Christ. So the way we treat the other person changes now. How? Because Christ has asked us to respect each other. Respect each other. Live in peace with each other. Our relationship matters. We will try to honor each other because this is what Christ has asked us to be. We are, we are trying to live our life with the mentality of Christ likeness. We are trying to lead our life the image of Christ. So our thoughts have been changed, the way we uh, actions have been changed, the way we lead our life, the way we treat others are changed now because our mindset is changed. So we try not to compete with each other, but to collaborate with each other and teach each other, help each other and journey together as one body in Christ. So there is no, when we are in Christ, there is no insecurity. We need to overcome that. We are secure in Christ. Our promotion comes from Christ. Our identity is in Christ. So we don't have to play any kind of wrong politics in the ministry. Just allow everyone to grow and you grow. We will also be reading in, uh, we will also be studying the leadership class. A, a good leader raises great leaders. We should not have any insecurity with others if somebody is doing much better. We need to appreciate, wow, Appreciate that person and allow him to grow. We should always have this mind, this mindset in the heart. Like we need to raise leaders who are much better than us. Then there is no place for security. At the same time, yes, we also need to learn and up upskill ourselves. But in the process of doing that, we should not allow any kind of sinful nature to grip, cripple into us like jealousy, pride, lust, self-image. But have the Christ mentality, have the Christ likeness. So we need to, we need to start living a life just like Jesus. Again, it is a process. We are not perfect. I think this process is lifelong. Lifelong. We need to take the help of the Holy Spirit to lead our life in that way, to lead our life just like the way Jesus lived. What would life look like if we truly walked in that identity, in that inheritance, the way we have in Christ? So every step that we lead in our life, we need to think like what Jesus would. WWJD. Have you heard it before? WWJD. What's that? So every situation, when we ask ourselves, what would Jesus do? It becomes much easier to handle that situation. What would Jesus do in this situation? How do I handle it better? It takes time. We do make mistakes, we are not perfect, but every time when you analyze yourself, I'm sure we will try to be a better person, better person than we were yesterday. When we look back at our own self, what would Jesus do in this situation? I think that will help us 
to do the things that would please God. And we will see ourselves change. And this change will not be from outside, but this change will be from inside. And again, as I said, it is a process and it will be for our good. So yes, so this is the reason why God has placed us in Jesus Christ so that we can lead our life in the way Jesus did. So, so the insight in this book is intentionally presented Okay, with a uh, small session so that we may understand. It's easy for us to understand and uh, relate ourselves with Christ and see uh, how better we can grow to lead our life in Christ. Okay, so is there any questions or is there anyone who would like to share any insights? Just checking the online class. Okay, is there anyone in the class that you would like to share your insight of who you are in Christ? Online students as well as offline? So yes, as we journey together, we will go take it a little slow so that it's good for us to understand and apply it in our life. So this class is more something that we learn to apply in our life and try to be more like Jesus and have this mentality of Christ, saying that our identity is in Christ. Who we are is who we really in Christ. So with that, I would encourage one person from our offline class to pray and one person from our online class to pray. Can I request one student from our offline to raise your voice and pray? I have Sean here who would like to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you very much for gathering all of us today in this class. Thank you very much for understanding your word and lead us my toward this class, Heavenly Father. Please help us to understand more about your word, Heavenly Father, to keep your word mind, Heavenly Father. And please help us to know who we are in you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Can I request one student from the online to raise your voice and pray? Yes, please, Krisha. You can unmute. Okay. Okay, Krisha, I think we're not able to hear you. That's okay. I'll just pray and end the session with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we come into your presence with a heart of thanks and praise. Lord, we thank you for the work that Jesus did on the cross for each of us. And Lord, we pray that I submit each student in your hand and we pray that our identity will be placed in Christ. And Help us, Lord, to have this mindset in us as we journey together, studying who we are in Christ, is who we are. We'll have this identity. We have this mindset like Christ's likeness of Father. Lord, I pray that you will enable us to live a life that pleases you in Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining in to our session today. Thank you and God bless.